Hey guys, welcome to the part 6 of sign up using OTP. In this video, we are going to create a form that will look something like this and it will help us in registering the user. So this video is purely about creating this design and writing the logic like uh, how to validate the phone number, password and logic behind that. And in the previous video, we have already covered up how to create the front end project and install the necessary plugins. So if you all haven't checked that out, make sure to check that out and let's get started. So I'm going to close this. Let me zoom in and we'll go to routers first. We are going to clear everything like we are going to keep only the essential things and uh, remove the rest of them. I'm going to change this to sign up and I'll keep US capital. I'm going to change this also to sign up. I'm going to rename this to sign up. Okay. So from the views, we are going to import the sign up view. Okay. Let me fix the spelling of sign up. So now that our routers is done routers, we will create another route after we finish this page. So we are going to go to views and before that i think we'll go to this app dot view and remove everything because i want the navigation bar to be present in this app dot view and rest every logic will be present in our views and components i'm going to remove whatever is present inside this and i'm going to keep app bar and this color i'll change it to yellow and it will be dark dash 2 actually dark and dash 2 inside this i'm going to create a div that will have class of d dash flex and it will also have align dash center class and inside this we are going to have toolbar title so it is v toolbar title and i will give a heading called as code with sa that's our channel name and if you all haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel and i'm going to remove the data because that is not really necessary over here and i'm going to save so if you all are like guessing from where did this come and how did i know about it 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 comes from beautify website i'm going to quickly open that over here and show you all so over here if we search for app bar app bar is the navigation bar in beautify so app bar and if we go to home here it is shown so from here all the code i have copied the code okay so our navigation bar is done now if we want to check how it looks you all can go ahead and run the project but i'm not going to run it right now we will start working on sign up view so this sign up view won't consist of anything it will just have component and everything we will write will be inside the component okay so i'm going to import the sign up uh, view so sign sign up component oh it is sign up and i will call it as component okay so sign up and component so i'm importing it as sign up component from sign up okay so uh, we have to put it over here and we can paste it over here so it will be sign up component and then we are going to go to sign up inside the components page and we are going to clear most of the things so we will keep up to the v column and we'll remove everything uh, actually let me clear v column also so that i can quickly clear everything and let me clear data also i will call this as sign up so this is how our template will look like skeleton actually and i will change the class from text as center to mb-3 and mt-5 these are the margins from margin bottom take 3 and margin top take 5 uh, these are the classes declared by beautify uh, you all can check that out then in, in, inside this we will have columns and i will create three columns so v calls a uh, v call actually and this will have calls of that is how many columns it will take four column so i'm going to create three four columns so that it becomes 12 and in the middle one we are going to start creating a card component okay so this will be v dash card and uh, this will have a reference of form so ref form and we are not really going to use actually the form uh, attribute over here but we are going to use this v card as form okay so that's why i'm giving all the properties here itself so it will be lazy validation validation then class will be text test center then we will have a title so it is v class sorry v card title and i'll call it as register form then we will have v card text v card text and inside this we are going to have multiple fields so as you'll remember 
we have a phone number field then we have email field password repeat password and these two buttons so this is the card that i'm talking about and this is the nav bar that we have created so now we are on the verge of creating these text boxes so let's create our first text box that is phone number so v dash text dash field okay it won't really have anything inside that but uh, this has some properties that we will give so there will be something called as v model to save the data so v dash model i will call it as user actually let's call it as new user dot phone number so this will consist of phone number then i will put a counter over here so counter will be 10 because uh, the phone number should be of length 10 then we are going to specify these rules later on so i'm going to just put empty array and a label will be phone number then it should be outlined and it is a required field so our phone number field is almost ready let's create this data variable okay so inside data uh, in the script inside data we are going to create a new object called as new user so new user and this will have something called as phone number and it will be blank then we are going to declare phone number rules okay so phone number rules what are the rules it should uh, like satisfy and this will be an uh, array and i'm going to declare three rules so the syntax is like this v and uh, then arrows and whatever the rules will be so i'm going to check if it is not v means there is no no value present inside the phone uh, phone number then uh, it will show this uh, error so phone number is required okay so if phone number does not have any value in the text box then it will show phone number is required error okay then uh, the second uh, rule should be i'm going to check if phone number is there and phone number's length is less than 10 then again it should throw an error right so that we are going to check since it is multiple uh, rules so it is first we are checking if value is present and only if value is present then we are going to check uh, the length of that value uh, and if it is less than equal to 10 uh, that means we have to show this error called as phone number must be less than 11 characters okay so this error will be shown if the character of the phone number is less than 10 and what if the okay we also want to check like uh, the on num the values that is entered by the user should be only the numbers and not alphabets or any other special symbols okay so for that i'm going to create one more rule value and value will be first we are going to check if value is present and then we are going to check if value dot length is equal equal triple equal to 10 that means user has entered valid length of phone number then we are going to check for this so we are going to check if it is from 1 to 9 from 1 to 9 whatever the value user has entered and it should be of length 10 so since this is regex so i have to parse it okay and it will be testing the value so here also we have to parse it if it isn't if this rule is not satisfied then we are going to tell that only numbers allowed and put don't forget to put a comma over here so quickly we have created three rules for the phone numbers first is if there is no phone number present then we have to show an error called as phone number is required if the length is less than equal to 10 then uh, error must be shown phone number must be at least uh, less than 11 characters and if user has entered 10 characters phone number then we check if all the num all the values entered by user is numbers only so and of 10 length so that's what we test over here if not then we show an error called as only numbers allowed okay so these are the rules for the phone number and we are going to use these rules over here and it is inside the new user so i'm going to use that likewise i'm going to create a field for email i'm going to copy paste this will be called as email i won't really put any rules for this and no counters as well label will be email and it will be outlined i'm going to remove required because email field isn't really required so that's why now we are going to create the password field this is a little lengthy but bear with me i'm going to copy paste this one and let's create some space so i'm going to call it as password one and i will put in password over here then in this we are going to show counter so that whenever user enters the password a counter will be shown 
and the board uh, the text box should be outlined then we are going to show user a hint so hint will be at least eight characters okay i'll close this one and fix this so that is done now we will show icons at the uh, right hand side okay so that we user can like uh, see the password and like hide the password okay so for that what will happen is as soon as user clicks on this icon icon will change and also the type uh, input type of this password will change okay so from password to text and text to password so let's do that so first we'll append the icon at the end so it is append icon and uh, this will work on a variable so show one and since password one it is so that's why i'm using the va uh, variable called as show one and this will be meet dash i and otherwise it will be meet dash i off okay mdi dash i off let me fix this so based on the value of the show one either the i open will be shown or i close will be shown icons okay and same uh, same thing will happen to type the type should be based on show one either text type should be shown to the user or password type then we will have rules for this and let's keep it blank for now and we'll create it later on and after that we are going to uh, do click event so on click okay it will be click on append okay that means click on this appended icon what should happen the show show one variable should be negated that means whenever user clicks on this icon the show one variable will change that is from true to false false to true and based on this both these logics will work so let's go ahead create the rules password one and show one variables so over here we are going to create password one and we have missed to create email field so email also will create now we are going to create password rules i'm going to put comma over here password rules there are only two password rules one is to check if password is present so i'm going to copy it from here and paste it and i will call it as password is required and other one is uh, it should be greater than eighth len so i'm going to copy this one and paste it again and it should be greater than equal to 10 otherwise show the error that is password must be at least eight characters okay so our password rules are defined and we will need show one variable so show one will be false and show two will also be false okay now show two will be used for repeat password and i will uh, cre create the password two variable as well so i've created that and we are going to use this password rules uh, over here so it will be password two that is from new user dot password rules okay so password one field is ready let's create repeat password field so it will be password two and this will work as show to show to show to and over here also to and this will be repeat password so all our fields are created let's create the two buttons that are required one will clear the form other one will register the user so there are two buttons v button i'm going to cl give class of mr-2 actually mr-4 and on click it will call a function okay so on click Oh, let's create this later on so that uh, we will be able to view the current state of the project otherwise it will throw error because we haven't created those functions so this button will be called as clear button then i'm going to create one more button v dash button this will be taking color of success then it should be disabled until few of the fields does not have any value so that means uh phone number is required passwords are required so i'm going to disable this button until the user enters phone number and passwords so it will be new user dot phone number or it should be disabled until new user dot password one and let me copy this and paste it and this will be password two so this button will be disabled until user enters either all all of these okay so that is phone number password and and password two and this button will be called as register so it let's save and run the term uh, run the project and check it out made some spelling mistakes so let's go over here 
uh, in the index.js of routers it is sign up sign so that is fixed we have more errors and the pretty is throwing us errors so let me do one thing in the sign up component let me run the pretty oh sorry we have to declare these variables as blank over here and all our errors are fixed so let's go to this link and check and there we go our form is ready register form and if i enter say over here number uh, instead of numbers this is giving me error and if i enter valid number of 10 digits there is no error thrown so over here say if i say test it gives me error and if i enter eight characters oh this is eight over here i'm in the password rules the v length should be eight since we copy pasted it so missed to change it to eight so that's why we were getting error over here so i'm going to type in eight digits character and yes and if you click on this one it shows the password that is by changing the type of this input box and also this icon is changed and if i click again on this it will be uh, changed yes this this also works and if i type in number only then uh, the register button is like enabled so that's it guys for this video in this video we were successfully able to create the register form by using view and also this good looking design in the next video we are going to actually write the logic of how to do the registration and clearing the form and sending the user to the next form that is otp verify so for that make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share see you in the next one